Hello and welcome to The Sherlock's Show. I'm Georgie Corridge Cole and this is the first show of 2021. Happy New Year. Not quite the start we'd hoped for, but regardless of that, I'm really glad that we're able to be here in some shape or form, albeit in a slightly different format. We debated long and hard about bringing you a show right now and agreed that everyone could do with a bit of respite. As you can see, however, I am on my own, so I won't talk long. Safe to say that I'm thrilled to be able to introduce the fashion, beauty, food, wellness, and fitness content we have lined up for you today. In the lineup is Adiola Boyega talking us through the beauty tools you need to know about. Celebrity trainer Shane Collins is here with a kick ass 10 minute full body routine. Nikki, the conscientious cook, is showing us how to make a delicious tofu noodle salad. And Tor is here with her tips for better sleep. But first, if you're over the sales, your existing wardrobe and sweatshirts, Sherlock's junior fashion editor, Polly Fair, is here with all the best new buys at H&M. It's no secret that H&M is one of our favourites for affordable high street fashion. And as ever, the brand is seriously nailing it. From loungewear to coats to knitwear and dresses, there really is something for everyone. So I'm gonna take you through some of our favorite pieces on site now. Gonna kick off first with some knitwear. And I know we talk a lot about things looking quite as bummer on esque at Sheer Lux, but I'm gonna go there again and say that this amazing black knit is definitely giving me Isabel vibes with this shoulder detail going on here. Jeans and a jumper can get a little bit repetitive over the winter period, but the key to keeping things looking interesting is to go for um, knitwear with a point of difference, I think, and this one definitely has that. Next up, we have this Parker style jacket, which I have to say, I think is maybe my pick of the rail because it's Borg lined. So it's nice little trim here as well, which makes it look so much more expensive than it is. It's nice and cozy. You can zip it up right up here um, in lieu of a scarf. And I just think it's a really nice one to wear on a walk with a pair of leather trousers and boots and maybe a pink beanie or something. Um, and just proves you can look cool and stylish while also feeling nice and wrapped up too. Now every woman needs a good denim shirt in her wardrobe. And I love how this one with its frilly detail here puts a feminine spin on a classic. And I just think it's a really nice one to pop on if you're a bit tired of wearing lingerie on repeat and you just want to feel a little bit more dressed up but still comfortable at home, then this is a really great one to pop on. Another pretty top now, and I just cannot get over how sweet this one is with its puffed sleeves, its gathered detail around the cuff, its peplum detail here, and this shade of pink is just so, so pretty. And if that wasn't enough, I turn around there, you can see there's a little bow detail on the back there too, and it's just super duper pretty. It's gonna be a real mood lifter for wearing at home, and you can also save it for when we can go back out again uh, for a date night or for a drink at a bar or something like that. It's just gonna be a really handy one to have. Who doesn't love a chunky roll neck, especially one like this, which is just the subtlest hint of blush pink. It's nice and soft and it's super chunky, feels really expensive. Um, I've gone for a size small, so um, I don't think there's any need to size up with this one to give it that chunky effect. I do love these slightly balloon sleeves. Who doesn't need a jumper like this in their wardrobe? Onto this super pretty prairie inspired blouse, which is giving me serious kind of batch of a vampire's wife, or a Fukui, all of the above. Those kind of vibes with its high press collar, button detail down here, this slightly exaggerated shoulder. It's just very, very pretty. And again, if you want to switch out your loungewear and feel something, feel like you're wearing something a little bit more polished at home, then this is a really nice one to chuck on. How sweet is this ruched pink top? We tried on a similar one for our Going Out Tops haul, I think before Christmas in white from our other stories, but I'm loving this kind of version in this dusky pink color. Um, and it's got a nice little bit of shoulder detail there, which is just a little something extra and some nice ruffling around the cuff as well, which I'm really, really loving. Um, I think this will be really nice, again, just to wear at home for the time being for a date night. Um, but hopefully at some point in the future, we can go out again and this will be a nice one to wear with leather trousers and heeled boots for a great evening look too. And now we have this absolutely gorgeous ribbed knit dress, which is definitely the kind of dress that I would wear if I was going to wear one at home. It's nice and stretchy and comfortable. Um, 
just an easy colour to wear and I love the slightly longer sleeve going on here, makes the dress feel a lot cheaper and more expensive and it's definitely giving me a kind of Nanushka vibe. Um, so while I would wear this at home, if I was going to pop out, I'd just chuck on a pair of chunky ankle boots, a big blanket scarf and a long wool coat and good to go. And now we have the first of a couple of knitted sets because who isn't living in their lounge right at the moment? But I think we're all looking for ways to make it feel a little bit more polished. And this one does just that, I think, with a nice polo v-neck collar and the matching trousers are a culotte shape, which is really chic. And I also have this sort of um, crease detail down the front. Um, I have to say this set is just so, so soft. It's gonna be super comfortable to wear at home. Um, even if you wear them as separates all together, it's just a really nice investment and proves that you don't have to spend a fortune to have nice lounge wear. Another matching knitwear set now, this time with a midi skirt as the bottom part instead of the trousers. And this one has got a nice little um, side slit detail here. Um, I really love a jumper and skirt combo um, just as an alternative to the trouser combo instead because it just feels a little bit more feminine, a bit more dressed up. Um, and while you can wear this at home, obviously you could chuck on a pair of knee high boots or a pair of chunky ankle boots and it's totally doable to wear out as well while still being super comfortable. Again, not itchy around the neck either, and just a really nice one to wear with a big long overcoat um, for those winter walks. Okay, now this is a bit of me. I think every person should have a grey tracksuit in their loungewear collection. It just kind of goes with everything. And this one really proves that you can get a really great one for such an affordable price. I think the hoodie is $17.99 and the tracksuit bottoms are $12.99 if I'm not mistaken. And they just feel so, so soft and great for wearing with a big long coat, that kind of Frankie shot vibe and a pair of trainers and just for lounging about indoors. It's just the ultimate loungewear set. And that is everything for today. I really hope you liked all of these pieces and do remember to check out H&M to update your wardrobe this season. Thank you, Polly. H&M really are doing a great job. There are lots of pieces there with my name on. Now next today, Nikki, better known as the conscientious cook is here and she's showing us how to make a quick and healthy tofu noodle salad. If you're doing veganuary or like me, you just like a bit of tofu from time to time, then this is for you. <music> This is my marinated tofu and noodle salad. First of all, I'm going to use tamari soy sauce. It's made from soybeans. So this is two tablespoons of tamari, and then one tablespoon of brown rice vinegar. Give it a good stir. And then half a tablespoon of maple syrup. So about half a, an inch of fresh ginger, grate it in, and then one clove of garlic, and grate that in as well. And then give that a stir. And that is as simple as that. And then get your tofu. Uh, I like to use uh, an extra firm tofu because it's much easier for frying. And then you can just cut this, it's easy to cut this. It's quite satisfying cutting tofu. And then you just drop them in there and give it a good mix with your hands. And then you can leave that to marinade half an hour and we'll do it. So I've just cut a, a small amount of the ends off the broccoli just to tidy them up a bit. And I've got some frozen edamame beans here. I'm going to use half a bunch of spring onions just to finish up, but I'm just going to cook everything first. So I'm going to steam the broccoli and I shall blanch the edamame beans. And then with these noodles, I'm just going to drain and then just rinse them. Okay, I'm now going to cook the tofu that's been marinating in um, my tofu marinade probably for about half an hour. Keep hold of the marinade. And while that's cooking, just slice up the spring onions. Use a little bit of the green part, but not too much. I'm just gonna drain 
cookies, I think. Give them a good rinse. So when the water's boiling, you're gonna cook the edamame beans. Just blanch them for a couple of minutes. It's nice to keep all the crispy bits of the tofu. Add a little bit of crunch to the salad. So with the remainder of the marinade, put in the spring onion, saving some for decoration. And then use the noodles and marinate them in. So the broccoli is now cooked. So now to serve it, choose your favourite bowl. plus crispy bits and then some spring onions and there you are marinated tofu with noodle salad how good did that look right up my street now next up Sherlock's beauty contributor Adiola Boyega is here to share and demonstrate the beauty tools she uses at home if there was ever a time to treat yourself and your skin to a new gadget then surely this is it Hi guys, my name is Adiela Boyega. I'm a makeup and beauty expert, as well as also being a Sheer Lux beauty contributor. Now in today's video, which is super exciting, I'm gonna be showing you my top five current favorite at home beauty gadgets. So first up is a product that's great for brows, which I can't recommend enough. It's the Finishing Touch Flawless Brow Trimmer and it is fantastic. So, so this is a really fantastic product to really grab those pesky hairs, maybe around the outer perimeters of your brows, but also keep in the shape as well. What's also fantastic about this product as well is that it's got this beautiful 18 karat gold uh, tip, which is kind to the skin. It's also got this great LED light that comes with it as well, which is built in. So the way that you would use it is you just switch it on, you just kind of take the actual product and then just go back and forth and it's so gentle. Like I even forget that I'm even using something. Again, I'm not altering the shape of my brows in any way. I'm just grabbing those hairs around my brows that can make them look quite sort of um, unkempt and not very tidy. You can even do a little bit on the top as well and then down the bottom. And I'm sure if there's any other areas that you wanted to use this for as well, you could definitely do that. Maybe if you want to do the top lip, I get a few pesky hairs there as well. But it's so easy and it's so gentle. I mean, look how clean it's made my skin look underneath there. But I really recommend this as an at-home alternative to use to keep your brows looking great and tidy during lockdown. Now, one of the biggest beauty treatments um, that I saw come up quite frequently last year, and I feel like everyone was having it, was dermaplaning. Now, dermaplaning is essentially a treatment whereby they use an exfoliating blade to skim the top layer of your skin and remove things like peach fuzz, which are basically the very fine hairs that are on the top of your skin, and also to remove dead skin layers. And it's a fantastic treatment. It's really great if you want your makeup to go on really nice and smoothly, or if you feel like you need that really great rejuvenation to your skin to help remove any dead skin cells so that your skincare can go in a bit better. Typically it was um, a service that you could only have by a professional therapist, but now you can recreate that at home with this nifty device. This is the Derma Flash um, Peach Fuzz and Exfoliating Removal Device. It's fantastic. This is such an easy device to use. I use it quite frequently actually, and I've seen a massive difference in the smoothness of my skin, the overall texture, um, the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, but also the way that my skincare goes in. So it looks like this. It comes with quite a few of the blades, which on you know close inspection, it looks scary, but honestly, it's the most gentle thing that you can ever, ever use. What you wanna do is cleanse your skin um, and make sure your skin is dry. You don't wanna have like a slippery sort of like feel to your skin. You want your skin to be quite dry. And then what you do is you switch on the device. You can hear it's on now. And then all you would do is just hold your skin taut and very gently take the actual device over the skin. And it's really good for catching any of that dead skin and making the skin look really nice and smooth. I mean, when I first did this, I saw a massive difference and the amount of stuff that came off my skin in terms of dead skin cells and hair 
Um, my skin is quite smooth at the moment because I'm doing this quite frequently, but it is amazing. You need to just take that over. Your skin just feels so smooth. It's really satisfying to see all of the stuff come off afterwards. So if you're looking for an exfoliating treatment that you can do at least once or twice a week for really smooth skin, or if you really do suffer with um, peach fuzz and fine hairs, this is amazing. Absolutely love this device. Now this product I absolutely adore. It is the New Face Mini Facial Toning Device and it is fantastic. One thing I will say is that you have to use it consistently to see results, but when you do use it consistently, you see massive results. So what this device uses is microcurrent technology, which is fantastic for stimulating your muscles, getting them to work, but also giving you that great firming, lifting, and toning to your skin as well. Um, you use it for about five to 10 minutes a day. It's like a gym workout for your skin. You even have a great app that comes with this. You can hook it up to your iPhone. Um, and basically what it means is it guides you on your actual sort of toning um, routine. So it's really, really good for that as well. But I absolutely love the way that it makes my face look so much more defined and lifted. And what's great about microcurrent technology is it basically uses very low level electricity to stimulate the muscles, getting the face really nice and rejuvenated, but also as well, boosting collagen production as well. So it's really great for fine lines and wrinkles, but ultimately the key thing is that it's really great for lifting the face as well. So the way that you would use the um, new face facial toning device is with the gel primer. Now this is great and it's intended to be used every single time you use the device. Um, the gel basically helps with the conductivity to ensure that you get the best results from the microcurrent. It's also super refreshing. I think you've got hyaluronic acid in here and aloe, so it's really, really amazing for that. So what I would say the best thing to do is use it section by section because what you don't want to have is the gel primer drying on the skin. You need that sort of nice slip to ensure that the um, device works to its best ability. So I would literally just like apply a small um, part of the priming gel on here, do my facial toning device and then go on to the next section, whether it be the forehead or my jawline. Um, and then you literally just switch on the product like I said, it comes with um, an app that you can use and you literally just start to proceed to use it. And you wanna wait for the beep, like that, and then hold it like so. And the beep is just good because it just means that you're working that area and keeping it in place. So that's a really good indicator. Perfect. And all you would do is just this on each section for about five minutes a day. If you wanted to do it um, for a bit longer, you do have a guided one that you can do. That, I think it's about 10 minutes, um, but nothing more than that. And you initially do it quite frequently at the beginning. And then after you've seen some great results, then it's more of a maintenance thing. So you maybe would do it like maybe once or twice a week, but it is fantastic for lifting, firming, and just giving your face a bit more overall definition. Now, a product that I've been absolutely loving is this foot file by Ruby Hammer, who is an incredible makeup artist. If you haven't uh, followed her before or know of her, she really is an iconic um, part of the beauty industry. Um, and one of my favorite products that I've been using of hers is this foot file, which is amazing because typically at this time of the year, a lot of people neglect their feet. Um, I love this. It really does get away all of those sort of you know dry skin, cracked, sort of skin um, on the back of your foot. Um, you can use this wet or dry. Um, it's really, really great and it just works very well at kind of buffing away. But it really does work really well at getting rid, rid of any dead skin. You buff that over the skin and then what I like to do um, and something that Ruby has recommended to do is to go in with the Skin Food by Walida and literally just slather your feet. And then last but not least is this. So this is the Sarah Chapman Sculpting and Face Lifting Device. Essentially what it's really good for is facial massage. Um, if you've ever been lucky enough to have a Sarah Chapman facial, you'll know that they are really well known for their massage techniques. They do a little bit of pinching, they do a little bit of, you know, things that really help to stimulate the blood flow, but also help with releasing tension and also helping to lift and sculpt and contour and define the face as well. It is really, really good. I tend to use it with the Skinesis Overnight Facial, which is one of my favorite products to use. It's like a really beautiful oil. Take a little bit like this, and what you would do is just massage it into the skin. 
And then this literally gives a little bit of slip for the facial massage device to work. Um, and the way you would use it, and actually what's really, really good is that if you go on their website, you can see a really good tutorial of how best to use the facial massager. I love using it on my jawline like this. Really good because literally you can feel how it releases the tension. And I find that a lot of people hold a lot of tension in their jaw. It's also great for sculpting and contouring, giving you that really good sculpted jawline, which all of us want. It's fantastic for that. Um, you can even use it on the neck as well, like so. It's just a really pleasant thing. And again, you could just be sat watching TV and feeling like you're having a really lovely facial massage in a facial. What's also really great is this. Um, this is a really good part of the tool which you can use to slap yourself. But what that really does, it kind of awakens the skin, gets all the blood flowing. And when the blood is flowing, you know, you're getting that really great sort of facial massage that's really promoting more of a glowier complexion. I love using it with the overnight facial oil. Um, but yeah, it's a fantastic product. So definitely have a look and check it out. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'd love to see you guys soon in the next installment of the Beauty Insider. Take care. Bye. Thank you, Adiola. I could honestly watch you talk about beauty for hours and I want them all. Coming up next, and I'm excited for this, trainer to the stars and Cobox founder Shane Collins is here. If you're at home right now and lacking in equipment and motivation, then trust me, Shane is the man to get you going. From abs to glutes, he's shared a few workouts with us in the last few months, but today, to round off his series, it's a 10 minute full body workout. But first, if you're struggling like many to sleep right now, then Tor Shalax's wellness editor is here to talk us through the supplements we need for a good night's sleep. Hi, I'm Tor, I'm Shilux's wellness editor and I'm back today to talk about one of my favourite subjects and that is sleep. Now I think so many people at the moment are struggling with their sleep and I'm someone who's always kind of had problems sleeping so I'm so excited to show you the products that I really love and rely on to have a good night's sleep. First up I'm going to talk about Wild Nutrition's Magnesium. Now I've been taking this for I mean, probably a couple of years now. It's such a brilliant product and magnesium is really important when it comes to sleep. Um, I think people often say to me, Tor, what's the one thing I should be taking for sleep? And I always say magnesium. So magnesium is a mineral that's involved in around, I think it's like two or 300 different bodily functions. But one of the most important ones is sleep. And it also helps to regulate levels of cortisol, which is your stress hormone. So it really helps to relax you. And it's also a muscle relaxant. So it really helps us to keep you nice and chilled out. I take two of these before bed. And this is a particularly good one because it's called Called food grown magnesium which means that it's based on ingredients your body actually recognizes so it's food based um, so when you take the supplement your body will absorb pretty much everything it needs to from it I'm now going to talk about CBD, which is, for me, a very exciting addition to my supplement regime as of late. Um, and this one from OTO is, honestly, I'm going to go as far as saying it's game changing because it really has changed my sleep. I take one pipette of this a night, and this is 10% CBD, so it's pretty strong. I probably recommend, if you haven't taken CBD before, starting with probably a bit of a lower one, so not from this brand. Another one, then working your way up to this, but it's brilliant. The nights I take it, I sleep completely through the night, and on the days I don't take it or I'm away or you know for whatever reason I really notice and I do wake up during the night so this is incredible it just puts you into a really lovely deep sleep and it's got a really nice very kind of um, subtle lavender and mint flavor as well which is really nice and unlike lots of other CBD products on the market. I'm now going to talk about 5-HTP, which is another really cool supplement. So 5-HTP helps your body produce serotonin, which in turn helps it make melatonin, which is your sleep hormone. So this is a really, really good one. And some really interesting research has been done around 5-HTP. I take this, I don't take this every night. I take this maybe like once every other week on a night I know I need a really good deep sleep. And it really, really does that. It's strong stuff, um, but it's an all natural formula, this one. Lily and Loaf do some really nice um, vegan organic supplements. So they're worth checking out as well. So up next is Wild Nutrition's Ashwagandha, so another product from this brand that I love so much. So Ashwagandha is an adaptogen, which is a really clever supplement that kind of adapts to your mood. So it can either bring you up if you're feeling kind of tired and a bit groggy, or bring you down if you're feeling stressed. So when you're looking for Ashwagandha, KSM 66 is the strain that has all the research behind it. So this is a really good one to take. Um, and so many studies have been done on this, showing it can really, really help with anxiety and stress and depression. So 
For sleep, it's an absolute no-brainer. I take two of these every night with the magnesium and the CBD, and for me, it's such a nice combination. And that might sound like a lot, but I promise I never feel groggy the following day. Another thing I love about this brand is they do refills. So you just buy this jar once, and then they send you monthly um, refills, which you can just pop back in your jar to help save the planet. And the bag they send it to you in is completely recyclable as well, so that's a really, really nice touch. That's it from me. Thank you so much for watching as always. And if there's anything, any kind of topic or supplement you want me to talk about, please, please let us know. And I hope to see you all very soon. Okay, full body day. And today is a madness. It's a sweat fest, but it's super short. And here's how it goes. We have two minute rounds, that's it. Two minute rounds and we have three of them. Little rest in between. And what I want you to do is do three exercises. You'll do one rep of each, then two reps of each, then three, then four, then five, and we'll see how many you can get done within two minutes. It is a sweat fest, get ready. If you don't have a bottle of water, go steal one, go grab one, you're going to need it. Your first two minutes looks like this. Three exercises, first one's easy, it's a squat. So you'll squat down, you'll stand back up. Then you're gonna get yourself down to do a push-up. So you're gonna jump down. If you want to do it on your knees, that's fine. You'll do a push-up and then you'll do a mountain climber. Then you'll jump to your feet and you will do two squats. Then you'll come down and you'll do two push-ups. One, two, and then you'll do two mountain climbers. And then you'll do three and then you'll do four and you might get up to six or seven or eight or nine or 10 or a million, whatever thing you can do. Two minutes, how many do you think you're gonna do? Five. Five, that's Alice's target. Five in two minutes. I don't know, but anyway, let's give it a go. Two minutes, as many as you can do. One squat, one push-up, one mountain climber. We're on in three, in two, in one. Two minutes, we're on. Alice has said she's gonna do five rounds. I'm not so sure, but let's see. One push-up, one mountain climber. Now she's back up, now it's two squats. Now it's two push-ups. Yes. Now it's two mountain climbers. Now if you want to do these on your feet, you can. That's up to you. That'll make it a little bit more difficult. Three squats she's on. Nice, Alice. Perfect. And what happens is you get really, really, really quick. And then the more that your number goes up, you get really, really, really slow because it gets difficult. Nice, Alice. Perfect. What's that? Three rounds? Yeah. She's on four. Only 35 seconds in. I think she's going to win. One minute, 20 seconds left. Now this isn't a competition against Alice, it's not a competition against anybody else, it's you versus you, you do as many as you think you can. Nice, Alice, that's four rounds, is it? She's on to five, this has been a whitewash, she's killed it. Minute in, minute left. Five squats, five push-ups, come on Alice. Make sure your push-ups are good. Now, don't cheat the push-ups, so they're a little slow, that's fine. Ooh. Then you get up into those mountain climbers, drive, knees into your chest, 45, seconds left. You will have enough time for a sixth round. Alice, come on, 40 seconds left, come on. Six squats, easy, easy. Three, four, come on Alice. Come on Alice, you got 30 seconds left, everybody. Now don't do that thing where if you think you're not gonna complete the round, you stop. Don't be that person. Do as much of it as you can. The next time you do it, you can beat yourself. That's the whole point of today, that you can do something, record it, take it, watch it on YouTube, do it again. 15 seconds left to get this done. Alice, 15 seconds left to get six rounds done. Come on, come on, come on. Got five, got four, got three, two, one. Rest. She did it, six rounds, pretty good. Round two, three different exercises, the exact same rules. Three exercises, one rep of each, two reps of each, three reps of each. Alice, show us what the first one is. It's a high plank to low plank. So she's gonna start on her hands, drop onto your forearms, back up onto your hands. Then she's gonna crawl, a little bear crawl. One step out, then one step back in. And then she's gonna jump to her feet and then explode up in the air from a standing position. One of each, two of each, three of each, four of each. That's where we go. We're ready. How many rounds? I'm gonna say four again. Four. Four, you did six the last time. All right, we're on in three, in two, in one. Low plank to high plank, take your time. High plank, crawl it out, crawl it in, jump to your feet, jump in the air, 
Yes, Alice, now let's go. High plank, low plank, you're doing two of them now. And I need you to say you do four. Yeah. I reckon the Sherlock's army are gonna do more than four. Back up, crawl out, crawl in, crawl out, crawl in. Jump to your feet, Alice. Two big jumps, explode. Yes, explode again. Back down, come to me. We're on three. You said you do four, you're definitely gonna do four. Down and up, three times. Hips don't move, remember? Now, crawl it out, three times. We're out, we're back, we're out. One more, Alice. Yes, come on. She's gonna jump to her feet, and you're gonna jump as high as you can, three times. Bend your knees, touch, explode once, twice. Come on, Alice, catch up. Three jumps, back down, low plank, high plank, come on. We're on four, we're on four. You might be on three, you might be on five, that's on you. Take your time, make sure you're doing good reps. Come on, Alice, you got about 35 seconds left. You gotta get this round in. Alice, come on, crawl out, quicker. She'll get her four done, come on. Out, back in, two more. Alice, come on, you got 25 seconds, you're gonna get this done. One more crawl, out, back in. Four jumps, you're done. Jump, 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 jump. Four with three seconds left on the clock. Nice. All right, let's use our rest because this is the last round and it's all bad news. Three tough exercises to finish. Your first one is a tuck jump. It looks like this. You'll stand, bend your knees a bit and then you're gonna jump your knees into your chest as high as you can. Tuck jump. If you can't do a tuck jump, you're gonna do high knees, one knee, one knee, one knee, one knee, easy. So tuck jump. Second one, you're gonna come back into a plank position and you're gonna do a thruster. Knees tuck into your chest and then all the way away. And then the last one, Alice, what's the worst exercise we can do? A burpee, chest to the floor, jump your feet in, stand up. That's where we finish. One of each. Two of each, three of each, how many? Five. Five, really? No. Five, let's give her five. This is our last two minutes. We're sweating this thing out. We're gonna wake the neighbors. Go in three, two, one, let's go. One tuck jump, plank thruster, knees tuck in and out, chest to the floor, jump up to standing. Yes, tuck jump, two of them. Nice, back down, thrusters, one, two, Burpees! I love screaming burpees. One, two, we're on three. How many did you say you do? Five, yes. One tuck jump, two tuck jump, three tuck jump. Thrusters, hit the floor, Alice, come on. In and out, three times. Two, three, three burpees, we're on it. You might be ahead, you might be behind, doesn't matter, it's you versus you. Just don't give up, you got about a minute and 10 seconds left. Alice, what round are we on? Four. Nice, four tuck jumps we're on. Knees up, knees up, knees up, knees down. Come on, Alice. Less than a minute left, everybody. That's two, knees in, Alice. Three, that's four, four burpees we're on. She said she would do five. She has 50 seconds left to get this done. Debatable. Alice, you're gonna have to hustle. You're gonna have to hustle. You're gonna have to hustle. There's no second takes here, come on. Alice, 40 seconds, come on, come on, come on. Wherever number you're on, wherever you are, push it home for 35 seconds. That's one, that's two, up Alice, three, up Alice, four, up Alice, five, back down Alice, come on. 25 seconds almost, 25 seconds, come on. This is it, we're finished. We have about 20 seconds left to get these burpees in. That's about four, four seconds of burpee. Alice, that's one, that's two, she's getting slower, three. Come on, Alice, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, everybody. Finish strong, finish strong, finish strong. She's got one more left. Last five at the death. Four, three, two, one. I think she would have had time for one more tuck jump. Well done, everybody. That's it, that's all we have. It's short, it's sweet, it's sweaty. We'll see you again soon, well done. Thank you, Tor. Thank you, Shane. Now, before we finish, regular viewers will know that I always love the Things We Love segment on the show. So I thought I'd bring you a few of the things I'm loving right now. It's not going to be quite the same without my colleagues, which makes me a bit sad, but the show must go on. So here goes. 
The first thing I'm loving right now is a series called Point. It's a six part docu-series on Disney Plus and it's centered around the American School of Ballet, which follows an academic year and dances between the ages of seven to 17. Disney Plus has for us been a bit of a lifesaver in lockdown. And I've been watching the series with my children, my 10 year olds and my eight year old. One's a girl, one's a boy, and we've all really loved it. And I think whether you're really into dance or not, if you like a docu-series, if you like real life, like I do, then it's a really lovely watch. Um, so I think any, anyone female interested in docus, interested, interested in dance and a bit of ballet um, will really enjoy it. And for my children, um, I'm really loving that they are watching other children who are so dedicated and have such a passion and are so committed to something. Um, so anyway, it's getting a big thumbs up from me. We've watched three out of six episodes. They're about an hour each. And if you haven't subscribed to Disney Plus, um, it's absolutely brilliant and yeah, has been a bit of a lifesaver. The second thing I'm loving is a brand called Refi. I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, R-E-F-Y. It is a brow beauty brand created by the stunning Jess Hunt, who's a model and influencer. And it's a three-step brow series, I suppose. There are three stages. Um, these are the different products. You start with brow sculpt. You get this clever little tool here. It's a comb and a brush. And then you get um, a clear gel, I suppose, to set your hairs in place. Then you use the pomade, which is this one, and that's to add depth and shade. So it's quite clever. There's color in a pot and an angular brush, and that's how you build up the color. And then you finish off with a pencil, a very, very, very finely pointed pencil. Anyway, if you're into brows and the brow maketh the face and all, then you should check out Refi. I think the branding is really cool she's beautiful and if you're gonna if you can get brows like her then you know i'm in uh anyway i'm giving it a go so tell me what you think the final thing i'm loving right now is what i have on my feet i don't know if you can see them i will take them off um they they're actually house shoes house shoes has become a bit of a thing hasn't it um I'm not mad on a slipper with my clothes, I'm not gonna lie. Each to their own, just not something I massively love. Um, so this is a really good in-between. They are quilted inside, so they're comfy, uh, they're backless, and they're just so extra, aren't they? Uh, I've known the founder of Apiedi for a very long time. She's a very nice lady. It's an independently run business. Um, so I know she'll appreciate this support and I'm all for championing um, independent British brands. And I think these are absolutely fabulous. They come in an amazing champagne-y color as well. And there are a few other designs. So if you're in the market for something a bit more glam than a fleecy slipper, then check out a Piedi. I'm certainly enjoying mine. That's it. That's it for our first show of 2021. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you to Shane, to Adiola, to Nikki, to Tor, and to Polly. On the next show, Charlotte will be here with a beauty Q&A with top makeup artist Zoe Taylor. Summer Payne from House Curious will be showing a recipe, plus we'll have fashion, health, and not least, Heather's January hot list. Uh, in the meantime, do please leave us a comment, a thumbs up, subscribe, tell your friends. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. Stay safe, stay well, stay sane, and we'll be back soon. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.